Um, hi. <clears throat> One of the most important applications of moving under central force is in space mechanics, where, for example, satellites travel around the Earth and what we are interested in determining in that case is the trajectory of motion. In other words, what we are interested in is to determine r as a function of theta. This is one of the applications of central force. In other words, in this case, we have gravitational force. The gravitational force always points towards the origin of your reference system. And what we can do is we can start by using a radial transverse frame, write down equation of motion, and take it from there. In other words, in this case, I have this force which points towards the origin of reference frame. Therefore, I can write force in this case, just like F as F, F E hat R with a negative sign. And also in radial transverse frame, I can write down acceleration in this form. So I have acceleration equal to R double dot minus R theta dot squared e hat r plus two times r dot theta dot plus r theta double dot multiplying e hat theta. And then, just like any other dynamics problems, to drive equations of motion, we can apply Newton's second law. So Newton's second law if we apply Newton's second law into these two directions, direction, the radial direction and transverse direction we have, m r double dot minus r theta dot squared equal minus f. And also in transverse direction, I have, let's call this one, and I have two r dot theta dot plus r theta double dot equal to zero and this is two the second equation is equal to zero because there is no force in transverse direction we only have force in radial direction all right so now it is also we know that this is an application of central force and we know that for any motion on the central force angular momentum is conserved. We can actually show that. So angular momentum in this case, H sub O, the angular momentum with respect to O is equal to M, the mass of particle R squared, the distance to the origin of reference frame, multiplying theta dot, and it is constant. So if, if you differentiate, let's call this three, if you differentiate this definition of angular momentum, what you would get is uh, simply h o dot equals um, 2m r r dot theta dot plus m r squared theta double dot, a simple application of product rule and this is going to be equal to m r 2 r dot theta dot plus r theta double dot. We know from equation 2 that 2 r dot theta dot plus r theta double dot is equal to 0. This is equal to 0 from 2. Therefore, the whole thing is equal to 0. Let's call this 4. All right, so now, if you look at this equation of motion, equations 1 and 2, I have mr double dot minus r theta dot squared equal minus f and 2r dot theta dot plus r theta double dot equal to 0. I have some constants here and some parameters, and also I have theta and I have r. So just remember 
that at the end what we are interested in is to determine R with respect uh, R as a function of theta. All right, so I have R dot and R double dot, which are variation of R with respect to time. So if I use chain rules and replace those uh, with uh, those with um, a variation of R with respect to theta, I can in fact achieve my goal, right? Because then at the end, instead of R dot, I'm going to have dr d theta and d d, d R d squared R d theta squared, and I can solve an equation of motion for R as a function of theta. Now, to this end, for this goal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my chain rule. I'm going to say R dot is dr dt, and dr dt is equal to dr d theta multiplying d theta dr sorry <clears throat> i have a cold uh, dr d theta d theta dr and i know from from equation three that mr squared theta dot is a sub o i can replace i can replace sorry d theta dt apologize so i can replace theta dot which is d theta dt with h o over mr squared right so from from so let's call this five and let's also solve this for theta dot i have theta dot equals to h o over mr squared let's call this six and then i'm going to use six or substitute six into five and to get r dot equals to dr d theta h sub o over mr squared all right so you can also play with this manipulate this and massage this relationship to get r dot equals minus h sub o over <coughs> m d one over r over d theta right and you can also define now you can also replace this minus h o over m d capital r d theta right with r capital r being one over r so it is just a change of variable for simplicity then all right so go back to our equation of motion we had r dot we have also r double dot so if you have if you also replace somehow r double dot uh with uh, with an equivalent of r with respect to theta we can in fact convert these two equations to equations uh with respect to theta so r double dot all right so i have uh, i have r double dot as i can rewrite r double dot as dr dot d theta d theta dt and i can go back to equation six and replace replace so six so let's uh let's call this eight and then i can use six into eight to get r double dot equal to h o over m one over r squared dr dot d theta all right let's call this nine <clears throat> Now, if I go back and, uh, and or right, this is equation seven, I apologize here. This is equation seven for R dot seven, R dot is equal to minus H over M D one over R over D theta. And I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna substitute seven because I have R dot here into nine. So seven into nine, Again, 7 was r dot uh, equals minus h o over m d 1 over r d theta and substitute into 9 to get 
R double dot equals to H O over M one over R squared and D D theta and minus H O over M D D theta over one over R and then I can simplify this to get R double dot equal to minus H O squared over M squared one over R squared um, D squared D theta squared one over R. So all I'm doing is I'm playing with the mass, massaging this relationship. So because at the end, what I'm interested in is to have R double dot <coughs> uh, with respect to theta. <clears throat> all right. So I have nine and I, I have 10 and then I have seven. So now uh, this is all I'm looking for, right? Because if you go back to one and two now that we have our double dot and r dot with respect to theta i can replace them into this equation of motion and get it an ordinary differential equation for r with respect to theta so all we are doing here is to replace seven and ten into into a one and two all right so all I'm doing is this. As a result, I have d squared, d theta squared, 1 over r minus 1 over r equals minus f mf r squared over h o squared. And if I use the change, this change of variables, I get the variable I get. So for if I make this change of variable r equal to capital R is equal to one over R is small, what I get is d squared r d theta squared equal plus one over r equals to m f h sub o squared over capital R squared. So now this is an ordinary differential equation uh, and if if I have f as a function of capital R or in other words as a function of 1 over R and this is what we're gonna investigate next if I have this if I substitute into this relationship then I have an ordinary differential equation and if I solve that ordinary differential equation and can compute the trajectory of motion or R as a function of theta and that's what we 